Hey everyone, it's Blushing Panda, back with some more of How to Draw Like Runo Tuna Animal Edition. Last week, I turned a fox and an apalka and a weasel into humanoid characters. Check out that video if you haven't already. Today, we'll be drawing the final three animals I picked out. So, I'm starting with a sketch, first of the birds fighting. It kinda reminds me of the fighting dance I saw in a Chinese play. Since my character has a lot of drapery, I need to draw in swift strokes. Everything's being pulled into one direction. For her fans, I added spikes to it to copy. Bird's talons. I added a little bow on her side to expand on my negative space. And I wanted this to be a real challenge by sticking to the original picture's color palette. Initially, I probably would have went with something boring or generic if I just did it my own color palette. So this was much better. I only made one change in the color palette, however, and that's the fan stems. I felt that the purple would look better instead of a navy blue that's very close to her hair. I would just add a quick touch here and a highlight there and we are done with our bird defender. On to the next one. This is the thorny devil. It was a little difficult coming up with a character for this one. So mentally, I broke it down into topics. Summer, heat waves, desert, pointy, Walter White, and dangerous. Until I came up with someone who lives in a desert, away from the crowds. It would lead to chaos if it ever was figured out. And when threatened, he reveals his true color. No. No, his true form. Sorry, I got a little carried away with the storytelling. Also, when making character designs, it's important to pay attention to the environment they live in. It wouldn't make sense for your character to wear a bubble jacket in the scorching sun. I tried to add spots on his arm as it is shown on the thorny devil, but it kind of looks like open source, which is scary enough. And here is our final result. With our final animal, we have a ram. They might look cute and fluffy, but don't say that to their face. For this, I was thinking the underworld. So I gave him slitted eyes instead of the goat eyes because I feel like it'd be too much. Our horny friend... Um... um our horned friend here is wallowing in some type of goo or ink. And I wanted to push that sinister look by making the pool glow green. That glow will bounce off to the horns and his face. I also, just because, made his eyes glow green too. I included a greenish gradient map on top of everything to keep it all consistent. Ooh, spooky. Finally, we are done with all of our characters. Just like before, I had a lot of fun making these designs and really thinking outside the box. I hope you enjoyed watching this process as much as I did drawing them. And shout out for any other challenges you like to see me try. And if you have any other character designs you'd like to share, leave them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to poke that like button and subscribe for more of my content. And remember, stay safe, stay cool, stay weird. Bye for now.